storm free on this Independence Day. Near 90 degrees for Taco Fest for your neighborhood party. Maybe you're heading to the boats or to the pool looking good. Now overnight things change. We have strong to severe storms possible after 2 or 3 a.m. lasting through the morning and even into the early afternoon. Once the storms break, the sun busts out and we are near 90 degrees tomorrow. But the Storm Prediction Center does have a bullseye on the severe threat, the yellow area, the slight risk. Wisconsin back through Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, and mainly western lower. If anybody's heading that way or has family and friends that way, late, late afternoon and evening, that potential is there across Lake Michigan and into the western part of the state. But it takes a while to get here. And I have a couple of different computer models to show you. One, Looks real good through the afternoon as we head into the overnight scattered rain and thunder showers 2 3 a.m. that get a little heavier after the sun comes up and through the morning hours. Pretty intense stuff worried about damaging wind and hail, especially Tuesday morning. A different uh, run of the same model. So just a few hours apart has very limited activity from 2 or 3 a.m. until about 6 a.m. And then that is about it for tomorrow. I think we lean somewhere in between. I would just be on guard and be ready. The timing for severe weather in the overnight is always a fear of ours because of everybody sleeping and everything like that. But if you have the local forecasters app or a severe weather radio, you'll get alerted and you'll be safe. But just pay attention, especially early uh, tomorrow through about lunchtime. And we'll have more showers later in the week, Evrod, on Thursday, a few, but then Friday night into Saturday morning, another round of what could be some strong storms.